Bruce Bullitt. Mucho gusto. <risa> eh, Gullit, eh, eh, una pregunta que te han de haber hecho muchas veces. ¿Qué equipo es mejor, el Barcelona no, o el Milan? No, ¿O tú, I, Milan? No, I think it's a different team, different era also, different uh, time. I think that Barcelona at the moment, uh, I think it's controlling the game in the same way we did in the 90s and uh, and I love to see you know both teams but it is difficult when you play yourself to realize how good you are because we wanted to win all the time and of course that was not always possible but we tried Messi Maradona <laughs> <laughs> no, I think that uh, also two players it's difficult to compare them because uh, they are different players. I think that Maradona was a leader, un capitán, sí. un vero capitán, and uh, of course Messi is, is a different player. And um, the only thing they compare is that they are the same height, <laughs> Piquinino. <laughs> But um, I, uh, I love to see them both. I, I played with, against Maradona. And for me, Maradona was the best player I've ever played against. ¿Tú jugaste con Cruyff? Yes, I played with uh, him in uh, Feyenoord. He came only one season. And uh, it was a great experience because he was, I think, already something like 39 years old. And he was playing really, really well. ¿Por qué Holanda eh, produce tantos jugadores, tantos buenos jugadores? I think it has to do with the philosophy of the game. Like you also know, everybody telling also that Barcelona plays the philosophy of Holland, you know, the 4-3-3, with wingers, with players. And uh, we are brought up like that. And um, in our philosophy, we think that we have an advantage in that fa fact, because tactically, the Dutch players are very, very good. Uh, technical, of course, I can, we can do better. I think technical, the Spanish are very, very good. They, uh, and uh, so therefore if you make a mix um, then it could be lethal but uh, we are very proud of the fact that we, our system uh, youth system is working so well la mejor liga del mundo is the moment sí um, now i think that uh, the spanish at the moment they uh, overruled a little bit the english uh, league um, not so much because it's much better or something I think they, uh, the, 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 the teams uh, are very good, the football is very good in Spain at the moment. I think still the more excited uh, league is still the English league. I think to watch football is, is very good in, in, in England. Uh, but the Spanish two teams at the moment doing uh, doing very, very well. And Chelsea, Gullit, uh, jugador y entrenador. Sí, no, no es posible. <laughs> No, it's not possible to do. No, ahora no es posible. No, but also in that moment it was not possible because uh, you cannot play and watch the team at the same moment. So therefore, after a while, I retired a little bit to watch the team playing. Pero, pero fue el cambio. Ahí Chelsea empezó a subir. Yes, it was uh, the beginning of something beautiful. I had the opportunity uh, to buy good players, uh, players that could bring Chelsea uh, in a different plan. And we won the FA Cup immediately, and after, I think, 17 years of not winning anything with Chelsea. ¿Cuál te gusta más, el, tu fútbol o ahora? Uh, no, I, I, I know. It, I like it. Every time schedule has a good football, you know. Uh, in my days it was good, and now also. It, 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 it is fantastic to see the development of football. ¿En qué equipo te gustaría jugar ahora? Ahora... Um, You know, I like to play in a team that didn't win something, uh, that always have been. When I went to Feyenoord, no ganó per 20 años, eh, 10 años. I went to PSV Eindhoven, it's the same. I went to Milan, didn't win a lot, and win something. I went to Chelsea, didn't win a lot. 
And so I would like to go to a team that didn't win because Barcelona won already everything. What can I add there, you know? What can I bring more to that team? It's, it's almost nothing. So you would like to go to a team that hasn't won so much. What would it be? I think, uh, of course, I would love to play for Barcelona. I would play, love to play for Madrid. But if you would pick a team that didn't win for a long time and is in a transition, maybe it would be Paris Saint-Germain because they didn't win a lot. It's, it's, a, it's, 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 it's not no, for the money, but for the fact that you know they didn't win. ¿Qué conoce del fútbol mexicano, Ruth Gulli? It's difficult. We don't see much. Mexican football has always been in the World Cup on a good stage, a good level. I saw the the final of the Mexican Olympic team beating Brazil. It was tough. Yes, it was very. It was clever. It was good. Yeah. They knew that technical maybe Brazil was better, but they stick together, and they were uh, very good organized, and they uh, they counterattacked, and there was a good good goals there, and I think that Mexico deserved to win. Ruth, thank you very much. Muchas gracias. You're hey. welcome. Bienvenido a México. You're welcome.